Why are you into witchcraft? Why? Are you into witchcraft? Because maybe you tried doing it. Maybe you tried giving your life to God. Maybe you prayed about something and from, I guess, what you know, it did not happen. So you may have tried or you may are into witchcraft. Don't you know, we all will reap what we sow. So if you are doing something evil, how can good things come out of it? Yes, you may get money. Yes, things may go your way for a while, but in the end, I believe what is going to happen, things will turn out bad for you. I don't know anyone that is doing witchcraft, witchcraft to where everything is going fine for them. And I think there are testimonies on YouTube to where ex-witches or people that were in the occult, I believe there are testimonies on YouTube of people telling you how their life went. If you have prayed to God, if there is something you want for God, pray about it and wait. I think some people are so impatient. What does the Bible say? Try to follow according to what is for us today. Follow those rules as best as possible, then pray, then wait. I believe if you try to take manners, matters in your own hands without praying about it prior, I am not saying to be lazy and not do anything, but I believe for many things, we need to wait on God to, what I like to say, make a pathway for us. Yes, we have to act, but I think there are some cases to where we can act and something may be more difficult for us than it really should be. So try to follow God's rules as best as possible. Even though you may fail, try to do what is right even though you may fail. Pray about what you want for God, then wait. You may be trying to get married. So you may have been waiting for some years. So you think, or you may think, you know, you can cast a spell or whatever to get someone to fall in love with you. Listen now, if you do things in a demonic way, how can it be good in a godly way. 
you may want a godly marriage or a very good marriage. How can you do evil and get something good? Please think about that. Yes, you can cast that spell. You can curse that person or whatever, but I believe this world is ran by you reap what you sow. I think that is one of the rules that is ran in this world. So if you do evil, how can you expect good from it? If I curse someone's husband to get with that woman, how can things go well for me? How can that marriage between me and that woman go well? Ah, listen now, you don't have to go to witchcraft. You may be lacking in money. You may be lacking in health. You may be lacking in whatever. Hey, try to follow God's rules as best as possible. The rules that apply to us pray to God, then wait. There is nothing wrong with waiting. Stop being so impatient. Stop going to the occult or whatever and think you can get things done. Wait. Wait upon the Lord. What is wrong with waiting? If you are trying to do things in the fast, wrong way, won't the result be wrong? Think about that. Don't curse yourself and possibly your bloodline because of impatience or wrongful desires. Man, let me stop here.